and thank you for tuning into our devotional here at Bible Baptist Church. My name is Daniel, and we'd like to take Tuesdays and Fridays to just share a small portion of the Word of God to you in three-minute snippets. And in so doing, we want to look at the book of Romans. So beginning in Romans chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. And so today, we just want to look at the life of Paul. We want to look at God's work in Paul's life. And if you know Paul, you know he that he was formerly called Saul. And Paul, Saul, was a man who had been very steeped in the law. He was a very learned and devout man. And in Acts 22, verse 3, when he was sharing his testimony with the Jewish audience, he said, I'm verily a man which am a Jew born in Tarshish, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, a doctor of the law who is very high highly respected in Israel. And Paul said, I was taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers and was zealous towards God as ye all are this day. Paul was a very devout man steeped in the law, yet he was also known as a devout persecutor of the church of God. He was a devout persecutor of the church of God. And in verse 4, Paul continues on with his testimonies that he had basically persecuted believers unto death binding and delivering into prisons both men and women. And in Galatians 1.13, he had told the believers there that ye had heard of my conversation in times past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. So Paul, before his conversion, he was a devout man, very learned in the law. He was a devout persecutor of the church of God. But what do we know also about Paul, the author of the book of Romans? And that is, Paul was a man who was changed when he met Jesus. He was changed when he met Jesus. Continuing on in his testimony in Acts 22, he recounts the day his life changed, when as he was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, there was suddenly shown from heaven a great light round about him. He says, I fell unto the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. Paul came to a point where he recognized his sinfulness and inability to save himself and believed that Jesus Christ died on the cross for his sins and rose again from the grave and confessed Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Friends, God did an amazing work in the life of Paul, the author of the book of Romans, revealing that no one is ever too far gone from God. So, friend, believer, next time we're tempted to think that someone is not savable, Let's remember what God did for us when Jesus saved us. And let's remember the amazing work that God did in Paul's life. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your goodness to us. Lord, I have asked that you'd please bless this day. And Lord, please help us never to think that anyone is too far gone from God. Thank you for salvation in Jesus Christ that you have offered to all mankind. Please help us to share this wonderful gospel to, to the lost world around us. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and have a great day.